So the starting generation was 50% H. The next generation was 62.5% H, which is not 50%. So the question, is this evolution? I want you to chat with your neighbors about is this evolution. I want you to do it again because we're going to get a second row. Awesome. If it's evolution, why? If not, why not? Heads. Heads. Here, piles of pennies, just Wait. in case you drop them. There you go. We need, we need three more. Let's go. Oh, I got heads. Heads? Awesome. And heads? Heads, tails, awesome. Heads, tails. Thanks. Rad. Thanks, Annalise and Samir. Uh, do you want your pennies back? You, you can keep them. They're oh. yours. My, my <laughs> gift. Yeah. Yeah. Volunteer. Was this evolution? Cooper. Yes, it was evolution. Yes, it was evolution. Why? Because the frequency of alleles changed over time. Yes, yes, because the frequency of alleles changed in the population. Period. That's evolution. So yes, evolution occurred. We did it again. We had evolution again, but it was different than the first time. Here, the frequency of the H allele, the heads allele, increased a lot for no good reason. This is not selection. No, nobody died. Good. We just, any zygote that formed, we said, sure, it works. There was no selection here, and yet we still had evolution occur. This is genetic drift. This is when just because you have a 50% chance of getting a heads and tails doesn't mean you actually get heads and tails 50% of the time. There can be deviations, and those deviations are called genetic drift. So, uh, nah. okay, we're doing this with the whole class. I don't have enough pennies. You're going to have to find a coin, use your phone, spin a pen, whatever you want. But pair up. This is why you learned the names of the people to your left and right. That's polite before you fuse gametes. Get two offspring, decide who will report which one. 